Okay, thank you. Uh, so my name is Sergei Lokyanov. I'm uh, the program technical lead for OpenStack Data Processing Program, uh, code name Sahara. And uh, so I'd like to make a short overview of the project and some highlights of the uh, things done during the general release and some plans for the Q1. So Sahara provides a scalable data processing stack uh, and management interfaces. Uh, and it, it includes two main directions. Uh, the first one is the provisioning and uh, operations for data processing clusters like Hadoop, Spark, Storm clusters. And uh, the second direction is uh, about scheduling and operating data processing jobs and workloads on top of clusters provisioned uh, by the first part of the project. So EDP itself uh, is a uh, it has a Sahara stake on data ports and workflow management, and uh, uh, right now it's a, a very pliable mechanism that uh, makes users able to implement their own workload managers for different data ports and clusters, or use some existing ones like Uzi for Hadoop. Uh, next slide, please. And uh, uh, for now, we are using. Uh, Apache Uzi for uh, managing workloads on uh, top of Hadoop clusters. And we're using the Spark manager for Spark clusters. And uh, there is no actually the workload manager for Storm, but uh, probably will make some. Uh, so on the next slide, uh, we can see some stats uh, for the general release. Uh, the main difference uh, between this and previous releases is that Sahara has been uh, officially included to the integrated OpenStack release in June. And uh, so we already uh, see very good growth of number of contributors and contributions itself. Uh, so more info could be found on uh, the Launchpad page for Sahara. And uh, let's move on to the next slide, and uh, uh, let's talk a bit about the uh, uh, main changes uh, happened on the Sahara project during the Juno cycle. Uh, firstly, we moved to the specs uh, process for new features instead of following blueprints. I mean, not just instead, but in addition to following blueprints. So right now, we are using specifications for mostly all the new features that uh, will be added uh, in Sahara, and uh, it works good enough for now. So the next uh, thing that was done during the Juno cycle is uh, that Sahara dashboard that was previously maintained and developed in the separated uh, Git repository uh, has been completely merged into Horizon. Uh, uh, and uh, now it's available out of the box in Horizon installations, and it will be enabled automatically if the report sync endpoint available in the Keystone services catalog. Uh, so uh, the next thing, as I already said before, is a pluggable framework agnostic EDP mechanism. So. The last data processing now done uh, without any hard coded uh, approach. And uh, in fact, uh, the new plugin could be written for uh, Sahara to implement the uh, data processing cloud provisioning. And uh, starting from junior release, uh, uh, such uh, one more plugin could be written to support running workloads on top of clusters. So right now we could support, uh, in theory, any data processing clusters by Sahara. And uh, we're going to implement uh, some new plugins from new and uh, popular data processing frameworks. Uh, so talking about the uh, uh, change done in uh, Juna about the supported uh, distributions and the data processing frameworks, uh, the next slide is about it. So. Uh, we started supporting the 2.4 branch of vanilla Apache Hadoop in general release, uh, and uh, the 
brand new plugins have been added to support Kubernetes cool distribution of Apache Hadoop uh, for the whole FIDE.x branch. And we started supporting Spark, uh, the reporting framework too, in addition to the Hadoop. And uh, it was the first uh, non-Hadoop plugin uh, that was done for Sahara. And uh, our plugin mechanism approach has been very good tested and blessed by adding this new plugin because Spark is absolutely a different thing. Uh, so the next uh, feature and change that has been done during the general cycle was an uh, addition of uh, Solometer notifications. So now we're reporting uh, a change for the reports in cluster statuses to Solometer and we can uh, uh, now fetch and statistics from Solometry about the uh, cluster's life cycle. Okay, uh, during the June cycle, we implemented uh, a bunch of resources uh, for heat, uh, and uh, it includes ability to create uh, not group and cluster templates for Sahara using heat resources, and to create a Sahara cluster itself. So uh, the first uh, interaction of Sahara that is about uh, provisioning data ports and clusters is now fully available from the heat side. So you can write um, the heat stack that will include some your resources and uh, you can uh, add uh, uh, a few resources to deploy the Hadoop cluster with uh, hundreds of nodes, for example. Okay, uh, and uh, the last big change that has been done in Juno is the uh, security group support edition and especially edition for auto security groups creation. So for now, Sahara automatically create, uh, Sahara is able to create uh, automatically uh, security groups for data ports and clusters that will open uh, ports uh, only between nodes that uh, need to communicate and uh, to open uh, uh, some ports to the public network uh, only on the nodes that need to have uh, um, to be accessed from the internet. Uh, so let's let's take a look on a Kilo plans. Uh, we're going to support new versions for all of the existing plugins, including new version uh, so support for the new Hadoop 2.6 that has been released uh, about a week ago. Uh, it will be added to Cloudera distribution of Hadoop plugin, which is a hot and log data processing uh, data, data platform, and uh, uh, to our vanilla plugin that is a, a implementation of uh, provisioning um, of upstream Hadoop, uh, not, not from some of the vendor distribution. Uh, in addition, we are going to have uh, Apache Storm plugin support. Uh, it's already uh, merged uh, yesterday to Sahara, so already supporting one more data processing framework. Uh, and Apache Storm is a real-time uh, messaging uh, processing service, so it makes users able to process some messages like a Twitter. Uh, uh, queries uh, and etc. Uh, the next one is the dashboard UX improvements, uh, and uh, it includes uh, some things like adding filtering to the different pages, uh, adding some wizards to make the process of creation the process and frameworks a bit easier than it's now. Um, the next point is about uh, better heat integration. It's mostly related to uh, upgrading our internal mechanism of working with heat to the latest version of heat templates, uh, including uh, hot. Uh, and uh, the last point is about ironic support. It's mostly about uh, checking that everything is working okay with ironic and uh, uh, supporting building uh, uh, pre-installed images uh, for Aronic with uh, uh, installed data processing frameworks. And we are going to support um, 
it's very important use case of provisioning uh, hybrid clusters with uh, part of the cluster on hardware machines and part of the cluster on virtual machines. For example, to provide users ability to deploy some permanent part of the cluster on hardware and uh, to provision on demand, uh, for example, compute capacity uh, on virtual machines. Okay, so uh, I think that's all uh, from me uh, for the hair update. Uh, so if you'd like uh, to connect us, uh, if you have some questions, you can always find us on the OpenStack-Sahara channel on Freenode or OpenStack-Dev uh, at uh, least the OpenStack.org mailing list. Uh, and uh, some more uh, contact points will be added on the YouTube video description. Thank you for your attention.